Silver on the Sage was a 1939 Hopalong Cassidy movie. It's a fun western. I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, the film opens up with two cowboys, George Gabby Hayes, playing the character Windy, and Russell Hayden as Lucky. And they've been in a bunch of these other films. I love seeing them again here. They have just completed a cattle drive. And wouldn't you know it, Windy gets overpowered by some mysterious cowboys, and soon all the cattle are stolen away by mysterious rustlers. So they end up getting blamed. It's like, hey, where's the cattle? So meanwhile, Hopalong Cassidy arrives. He's played by William Boyd, of course. But this time, instead of working with his two friends, Lucky and Windy, he kind of goes undercover. So he plays this character, Thompson. He's kind of this cool as ice, undercover professional gambler character. Now he's using his disguise to try to get closer to the crime boss who's played here by Stanley Ridges. And, you know, I thought it was kind of an interesting twist on the familiar formula. And you actually see a lot more screen time of Gabby Hayes and Russell Hayden. So I thought that was neat. It was a little bit of a variation on the theme. It wasn't as much focused on Hopalong Cassidy, although he is still a major part of the film. So, you know, one thing I will have to say is, you know, I, I get the undercover routine. And, and I will admit, I'm still kind of new to the Hopalong series. But in this film, don't they already establish that Hopalong Cassidy is kind of a well-known character, but yet nobody in town seems to recognize him? Ah, well, who cares? It's still a lot of fun. So anyhow, the cattle theft scheme. We find out it's being pulled off by this one character named Ridges. He's played by Dave Talbot, but he also happens to have a twin brother. So he's got this alibi scheme going on as while they think, you know, he's in town playing cards, his twin that nobody knows about can be off stealing cattle and stuff. Ah, the perfect alibi, very sneaky. So I'll let you check out the rest of the film, but you know, this was enjoyable. It's a brief one hour film and it builds up to a big shootout. And of course, there's a little bit of fun at the end with Gabby Hayes. And like I said, it was really neat seeing more of Gabby and Russell Hayden with more screen time, but it did feel like there was some potential romance with Ruth Rogers and Russell Hayden that didn't really make it into the film. And that's a shame because that seemed like that would have been nice to explore. These Hopalong Cassidy films, they're a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to reviewing more of them. You know, even if my three fans are hoping that I get back more into William Holden movies, and this was, my understanding, the 23rd of 66 Hopalong Cassidy movies. Phew! So who knows, maybe I'll get through them all someday, but I love them all, so I'm, I'm gonna try. And also, I can't tell if these are in the public domain or not, but I find them, there's a lot of them on YouTube, they're also on the internet archive, and I'm still trying to figure out that whole public domain thing. I think from the 1930s, they still hold copyrights for a lot of these films. I think you gotta go back to like 1925 to start finding everything in the public domain. And I enjoy those 20s films, but then you're getting into an era of silent films, and, you know, that's fine. But I find, for me, those films need to be watched a little more carefully, plus they usually have, you know, captioning on the screen that you have to read. You know, like the original Phantom of the Opera with Lon Chaney. All right, sorry, I got off on a tangent there. Silver of the Sage is a lot of fun. It's a Hopalong Cassidy movie with George Gabby Hayes and Russell Hayden, and it's worth checking out. Anyway, who asked you to come? You don't suppose Hoppy let you come out here with that herd without me, do you? I'm staying right here to see you don't get hornswoggled out of no money. Come on, get out of here.